Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jet Dan back with another top 10 list. This time we're talking about the top 10 best of 2021 Spider Man figures from Marvel Legends. I want to preface this list and let you know that this is my top 10, my opinion of what I thought the best figures and the worst figures of the year for Spider Man related characters or spider powered characters I should say are so here's the choices right here of all of the figures that were released in 2021 for spider-man figures so take a look and here we go so for honorable mention from spider-man no way home the armadillo wave there were three spider-man figures to Tom Holland costumes and one Miles Morales game reverse there's all the figures in that wave there were two of the integrated suit that you had to that you can get in the box whenever you order the whole set so which one is honorable mention this took me a while to determine which one was going to be honorable mention I had to go with the integrated suit and the reason for that is why it's so why they're both so low on the list is because if you watch the no way home movie you know that this costume is missing something very important i'm not going to say what it was what, what it is because i don't want to give any spoilers if you haven't seen the movie but it's definitely missing something also i would have thought that it could have come with a tom holland hand at the head as well no tom holland head so because of the fact that it is missing something very very important for this costume that is why this is honorable mention for the top 10 Spider-Man of the year. But again, very nice looking figure. We have already gotten this type of armored Spider-Man before, so that's why it's so low. So number 10, same wave. Again, I kind of had to go back and forth with this one in my mind of which one I wanted to choose. And of course, again, Armadillo wave. It is the reversed Doctor Strange-esque spider costume here. And the reason it made number 10 is because we've never seen a costume like this before. The other reason it made number 10, and it actually would have gone higher on the list, is because, again, if you watch No Way Home, you know that this costume is missing something. So if it had that something, that it would have, then it would have actually been higher on my list for Spider-Man costumes. So you know what it's missing if you saw the movie. If you haven't, go out there and check out the movie. But other than that, not a bad figure. I wouldn't mind seeing something else in the in the black and gold itself to kind of give that that look of the costume in the movie as well. And sorry I'm being so vague. Again, I don't want to have any spoilers for you. That is why this is number 10. All right, so number nine, Walmart exclusive. Tom Holland face sculpt in this one. This is the upgraded suit has the web effect that comes with it and you do get two head sculpts there's the front and back of that package again it is a Walmart exclusive uh, I would have liked for this Tom Holland head to be a little bit more uh, accurate to Tom Holland I don't see Tom Holland in that head sculpt at all but I do love that web effect so that is why this is number nine on my top ten list at number eight because it's not really spider-man it's kind of a clone uh, I don't know some you know Dr. Doom used his twin machine to, to make this guy Webman, uh, but your vintage card Webman Spider-Man is my number eight. Just my opinion. Let me know how you guys feel about this figure. I do like the bright blues on this and the bright red as well. All the different hands you get and of course the fact it's on a vintage card. It's a really cool figure, but not the coolest of the year. Webman. At number seven, came out in May 2021 for pre-order. Another vintage car 
it's the 2099 Spider-Man. The reason it's so low on the list, because it is a good figure, is because we've already got 2099 Spider-Man. We didn't really need another one. I know throwing them out on vintage cards is kind of, you know, nostalgia now, but that's why this is so low on my list. <clears throat> but it is a great sculpt, great figure as well. I love the different hands that you get. Some have claws, some don't. You got your fists, and of course you got your web effect thing on the on his back there. So not bad for 2099 Spider-Man. And at number six, from the Stiltman Build-A-Figure Wave, which was the first Spider-Man Wave of the year, there are three choices here for Spider-Man figures, slash four. I'm putting uh, Spider-Ham with Gwen since he came with her. Um, but can you guess which one it is? Who's number six on my list? Is it Peter B. Parker? Is it Miles? Is it Gwen? Slash Spider-Ham? Anybody? It is Gwen. And the only reason it's Gwen is because we have had several Gwen figures. Um, but I do love this face sculpt. And I do love the fact that she came with Spider-Ham. That is the only reason she's so long on the list. There's the little Spider-Ham. And there's not much articulation except for in his head for Spider-Ham. A really cool figure. Very good movie accuracy for the Into the Spider-Verse. At number five from the What If Wave from Disney+. Plus. We do have a Spider-Man in this way, and it is our zombie hunter Spider-Man with the Doctor Strange cloak there, so that is pretty cool. Really great sculpt here as well. You see he's got both head sculpts for Peter and for the Spider-Man. Got the web uh, cartridges on his arms there, and also has some blood on his leg there. So really cool looking figure in my opinion for this What If Spider-Man zombie hunter. At number four, the GameStop exclusive, Game Reverse, Translucent, Miles Morales figure. Of course, this is another sculpt. Use of the sculpt from the Armadillo Wave. You do see the Venom Blast effects there on his hands as well. I do like that. So that is where it is on my list. At number three, jumping back into the Stiltman Wave, we got our Peter B. Parker. I would never would have thought I liked this figure, but I did. I don't collect anything MCU or movie related. I collect on the comic stuff, but this figure actually had me contemplating if I should because it was such a good sculpt. Uh, I did love the big jacket, the different shoes, the the cup there he's got, the both head sculpts. Really cool figure. There's a nice close-up of that. You can see those shoes are so different there. Number two from that same stilt man wave into the Spider-Verse. You have an Miles Morales figure here. I do love this sculpt again. I was very shocked and surprised whenever I got these figures in hand how much I contemplated whether I wanted to keep them or not. And this was a great sculpt. Again, you got the both head sculpts there, one with the mask on, one with it off. The jacket's on, he's got his shorts on, his tennis shoes. And also it comes with the build a figure piece, so that makes it even better too. And there's the back of that package showing off the stilt man. And number one. Back to the No Way Home Armadillo Wave. You guys guessed it. It's got to be the Game Reverse Miles Morales. This is one of the best sculpts of the year. I love that Miles head and his regular head as well with the mask on. The Venom Blast on his arms there as well. So really cool figure. In my opinion. You guys put yours in the comments if you want to. You see he's got the pinless arms and legs. All those different hands as well and of course like i said it does come with a build figure piece for armadillo so that makes it awesome as well there's the back of that package again look at that beautiful head sculpt that's a nice head sculpt for miles so that's all you can choose from let me know what you guys would have chose for your top 10 with all the spider-man figures released in 2021 all their packages there and there is my list, 1 through 10, plus the honorable mention. <clears throat> is this where you stand? Would you have reordered this list? Uh, I don't know. I could have reordered several of these, I think. But this is definitely a pretty good list for the top 10 of the year for Spider-Man figures, in my opinion. And again, number 10 and honorable probably would have moved up higher on the list had they actually come with some of the accessories that they showed off in the movie.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you ever any. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.